Hi, I'm Allie from the Potomac Bee Company, and I'm going to explain to you the difference between Delica beads and seed beads. So Delicas are considered a seed bead, but regular seed beads are not the same as a Delica. I know, confusing. When I first got started seed beading, I was a little confused as far as the difference in shapes, sizes, what it called for, what it meant, what could be used in place of. So here are the difference between delicas and seed beads. These are size 8 delicas, size 8 seed beads. Size 11 delicas, size 11 seed beads. So when you look at these, you can see that the delica beads are much more tubular shaped, whereas the seed beads are much more rounded. It's easier to see in the H simply because they're bigger. When you're looking at them, they do line up nicely next to one another um, as far as the Delica bead goes. They line up better than the seed beads. The seed, uh, seed beads still line up nicely, but what you're going to get with the Delica beads is one consistent line. You're definitely going to get a tubular shape. So the more you line up, the more you get that long tube. When you're looking at the seed beads, it's going to divot in more because it has a little bit more of a rounded shape. Another important thing that you're when you're looking at them is that the Delica beads have a large, large hole. That's because they don't have those pinched, rounded edges like the seed beads do. So the seed beads, when you look at them, they still have a decent size hole, but it's not as large. So here's the difference in the hole size. That hole size in the 8s, versus the 11s is going to be approximately the same. Uh, this is 22 gauge wire. The Delica still have a lot of room to move around. The 11 O's, they are pretty much on here and that's the thickest that I'm going to get wire through. Um, also when you're looking at the Delica's uses for them. So if a pattern calls for Delica's versus seed beads, chances are you really need the Delica's. Um, the Delica's in the 11's do appear a little bit smaller than the seed beads in the 11's. Opposite for the 8's, the Delica's in the 8's do look a little larger than the seed beads in the 8's. Um, when you're using them, if you're doing a peyote stitch, something that is simple and it calls for Delica's, that is just your preference. If you're doing something that's a pattern, um, if you're doing a circular brick stitch, if you're doing a Cellini, something that really, really calls for a patternistic style, that's probably when you're going to be called for the Delicas. In that case, you will need the Delicas. Most of our stores, we carry um, tons and tons of sea beads in different styles and different colors. If you go in and you're looking for a Delica in, in a certain color that you can't find, let us know. That's how we order more. We order in what our customers want and what our customers request. Um, so if you're looking, some patterns you can substitute the seed bead for the Delica and vice versa. Some patterns you cannot because it's going to pull it in closer because it's going to look for that tubular shape. Uh, whenever I'm doing a cab wrapping, I prefer the Delicas. That's my preference. You don't have to have them. They just give a nicer, tighter look. So if you have questions and you don't know whether or not you can use a seed bead or a Delica in place on a pattern or what beads you should use for what, head into one of our stores or let us know on Facebook or YouTube. We can help you out with any questions that you need. And we'll help you do your seed bead projects and kind of get a handle at, on the difference of the tubular delica versus the rounded seed bead. So thanks for watching and hopefully this answers some of your questions and if you have more please let us know and like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube.